Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see from the title, we're not doing Goodwill today because I went to my Goodwill, slim pickings. So, the only thing I actually bought was a one cup measuring cup because I don't, when I was baking, I couldn't find mine, like a liquid measure, a glass one. And I found one Berta pattern, which I probably overpaid for, but um, it's a nice basic pattern. I'll be able to sell it. So, I, I grabbed it. So we're going to look at the fabric from that fabulous estate sale. So I decided I'm going to start with the fabric because I keep, okay? So most of this fabric was polyester. There was a little bit, a couple blends and a couple of cotton, so I decided to keep them. So let's start with the very first one. Now this one I have washed, the rest of them I haven't. It is this gorgeous, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's kind of a teal seersucker and it feels great. It's probably enough for a blouse. It's not a whole lot, but it's probably enough for a blouse. Speaking of probably enough for a blouse, here we go. Isn't that pretty? It's a little ditzy for me, but I think what I can do is make it into something slightly more modern. It won't look quite so ditzy. There was this, there's quite a lot of this. This to me feels like a rayon. I don't know if you guys can see. You see this, it's got like a pattern going through it. Oh, these need to be washed. They smell, they smell like grandma's basement. There was a lot of this. This is a polyester, but it's a blend and it's kind of nice. Um, I'm, so I'm thinking I'm going to keep this too. And then there was this. This is just really, it's, um, it's a light cotton blend. But the thing I liked about it is it's actually beige. I'm thinking of making Bermuda, like some kind of Bermuda short or something out of it because I don't have any shorts. And then there was this, I love this. This is just a chambray. Again, feels like a blend. It's got that kind of stiffness you get with a blend. I don't think it's 100% cotton. Again, it smells like grandma's basement, so it's gonna have to be washed. And then there was just the tiniest bit of this and then I found the rest of it, and I'm not going to show it to you, but there's an entire roll of this, and it's just a lining material. It's real, real sheer lining material. Okay, so, like I said, the majority of this fabric was polyester, like double knits, um, a lot of double knit. But she did have some other really nice fabrics. So let me show you what I've already cataloged, put together, and I'm putting on Etsy. This is one right here. This is a double knit. It's the weight that you would use for a dress or a blouse. This, oh, this is my favorite. How beautiful is this? This has a very Jersey kind of feel to it. And it's quite a bit of it. In fact, where, let me see where the tag is. I lost the tag. Uh, this had three yards. So that's enough for a uh, wrap dress. And it's really long. It was like a 64 inch width. So it's perfect for a wrap dress. There was this, uh, I have several of these. This is the green in this slub material. This is the teal. Can you guys see this texture? It's hard to get the colors on film. And then here is the winter white, which I, you can see the difference between an actual white ribbon and the winter white. And again, with the pattern and all of these, she had a lot of, she must've been planning a suit there's more than enough here for a suit. And then there's this beautiful robin's egg. It's so hard to see this. Even when I was trying to photograph it, you can't really see it. It's got an actual like texture in it. And this also, canary. She, this is like eight yards, almost eight yards. I think it's seven, seven, seven yards and like 32 inches. It's a lot, you can make a pantsuit. These are all, like on the heavier side, they're perfect for like a, a 70s pantsuit. This, look how lovely that is. This is super heavy. This is also perfect for like a suit. You could totally do a jacket and a mini skirt with this. This one was also so beautiful. This is more of a medium weight. I don't know if you guys can see it's coral, but it's got this beautiful little bit of white running through it. This also great weight for like, I wouldn't do I wouldn't do a pantsuit with this, but with this I could definitely see like a coat dress or some type of a 
two piece like a suit dress because it's such a heavier weight. Then there was this. This is another heavy weight double knit. It's a smaller amount, but it's perfect for a mini skirt. When I saw that, I was like, this is perfect for a mini skirt. And then possibly my favorite piece. I don't want to unravel this, but this is the pattern that repeats all through it. Can you see how beautiful it is? This is a jersey knit. Um, obviously polyester, but like this is really perfect for a wrap dress. It It is three yards and 10 inches. It's perfect for a wrap dress. It's such a beautiful pattern and it repeats over and over again. And it's just, it's gorgeous. Oh. And then there was this. This is a pretty small amount, but this is another, another one that's heavy. It'd be perfect for like a mini skirt. And then there were several of these. These are all like a really lightweight. I'm going to see if I can show you guys how light they are because they're almost, I don't want to say transparent, but can you guys see my finger through that? So you can kind of see through it. These are very lightweight. They're absolutely perfect for blouses. And I have them in like this rosy pink, this azure navy. The navy one is slightly heavier and then purple. The purple is also slightly heavier, but look at that. Look at that purple. I mean, it's such a shame. You know, polyester is pretty much officially out of style, right? Uh, lots of reasons. <laughs> it doesn't breathe. <laughs> You know, you feel like you're wearing a suit of armor when you're wearing it, uh, but it had its day. And these, these are some examples of how absolutely beautiful some of these fabrics were. And I can tell, even though these are polyester, they're very good quality. Like this one, especially, this has a crepe de chine kind of feel to it, but it's a polyester crepe de chine. But look how gorgeous this is. I mean, this is perfect for evening wear. In fact, I'm wondering if she bought it for evening wear. Most of the tags are from this place. And I noticed she did this a lot. Um, she would buy these remnants and they would say like mini and they were all a yard plus and they varied from a yard and 10 inches to I had a couple that were a yard and 34 inches. So almost two yards. And she would buy them in these panels and then she would get three of those panels. So she would end up with three plus, four plus yards, but all cut into panels. But very economical of her because the price was cheaper for these panels because they were coming from this remnant company. Um, just goes to show you, you know, oh, here's one I forgot. Now this was interesting. This is almost, I don't know if you guys can see the grain, it's a beautiful color, but can you guys see that grain? The grain in there is almost a gab, like a gabardine. I think this is a polyester gabardine. This is really, really heavy. She also has it in the ugliest brown I've ever seen, but I'll put it up on, I'll put it on Etsy. Maybe somebody will want it. But again, this is six yards, six yards and 28 inches, but it's divided up into four individual pieces. But this is perfect for a suit. Like if you want to make a pink, a rose pink 70s <laughs> pantsuit, contact me. I have your fabric at Etsy. Um, so that was that. But as you can see, the fabrics were really very beautiful. And hey, man, I got them for free for showing up, right? Thank you to Amy at Requiem Salvage. So until the next video, which is going to be New Year's Eve, and we're going to be unboxing those patterns. I already got them. I did take a peek. I saw one Vogue and a bunch of Berta, and the rest seemed to be um, McCall's and Simplicity. But we'll take a look at them. We'll go through them. And that will be Friday night at 7 o'clock. I'm not going to do it at midnight. I'm old, and I can't stay up that late. But until my next video, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me, let me know what you think of these, what you think of polyester in general. And um, I hope you're well, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.